Ooh, that's the Night Spring screenplay page three, but we're missing page two, so let's not read that yet. Oh, hey, we're supposed to shine um, a light on plants. Is this one of them? There you go. Yeah. Does that feel better? <laughs> I wonder if we've missed some locations before. Loading bay, operations corridor, and abandoned office. Whoop. Abandoned offices. Um, operation corridor. Yeah, we have been... Yeah, yeah, abandoned offices and operation corridor were back near the beginning. So, we missed those. Well, you know what? There's a control point here. Let's go back right now. Okay, abandoned offices. Uh, there was a light here, but I kind of blew up the room, so... Uh, I'm not sure where the light is anymore. But there's a plant right there that we need to shine a light on. Ah, there it is. Welcome back to the land of the living, little buddy. I love all these plant quests. They're so nice. Ah, here's the last one. Now, Operations Corridor. Surprising absolutely no one. I wasn't really feeling spin, so I'm going back to shatter, but this time I'm putting both projectile fire um, increases on this thing. I think before I just had the plus eight, but at some point we got a plus 11 projectiles. So plus 19 projectiles plus some extra damage. I just want to see what that looks like. Oh, I know it must be shooting more projectiles than we can see on the wall. Yeah, it doesn't look as impressive as I thought it'd be. But let's hope it's more effective. Ah, oh, right, we should be on the lookout for plants here.
Hmm. Maybe the final plant is down here. Uh, loading bay vent. It's technically a different area, isn't it? But I'll go a little bit further. Sometimes the items are in the in-between areas. Now this is for sure too far. Ah, oh, there it is. Here's some sunshine to brighten your day. It's artificial. <laughs> How does that work? And that's the last one. I should appoint someone to take care of these guys. Supervisor of Houseplant Wellbeing. I think we got some mod that I'll never use for it, but that's fine. I wasn't doing it for the rewards. Hmm. Which way? Ooh, this seems like the main way for sure. have to blow these things up. I thought it was pointless, but it's for a quest. Probably be easier just to use a couple of these and that should get them all in this room, right? Yep. <laughs> There they are. Old stretchy boy. lights attached to it. I don't know if being here really helps anything though. Now it goes over here with the next button press. I thought it would just go back. Ah! 
I'm not sure where this power cube goes. Oh no. right that one goes left let's go right There's where the power needs to go. Oh no, I need like three powers. That was just one. <laughs> Alright, there's one over there. Pressing this, it's gonna go over there, unleash it, and then go back that way. Where's the third power cube? I don't know. Let's go do this. Not only the cube for the third one, but also to unlock the slot. It's covered in darkness, I think? Actually, maybe not. Maybe we just need the cube. But I also don't know where the cube is. <laughs> Could be in there, maybe. I'm trying to hit them in the hopes that it'll heal me, because it'll be considered a successful hit, but I don't think that counts as a successful launch hit. Hmm. I guess we'll go this way again. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, shit. Oopsie. Oh, that doesn't want to open, huh? Hmm. Where is that final cube? Wait, I don't actually need to put it there, do I? 
That's just for this light to unlock that slot. That slot, slot was locked. Now it's not. Get me the hell out of here. Please, where's the button to turn on the lights and just fry Hartman? This must be it. place for him to hide. Speak with the voice on the cell intercom. Gerbil took the top head. What? Is that Hartman's babbling nonsense? Oh, we've almost looped around. Obviously, I'm going to go back. There's tons of stuff to explore there. Um, but if this does loop around, I do want to, like, unlock it. Unlock the shortcut or whatever this is. All right, Ati. Was this what you had in mind? Ah, the darkness we need to eliminate. Maybe this doesn't unlock a shortcut at all. I think this is just a one way, isn't it? Isn't it? Like, what else would this be? I don't, I definitely don't see a way up from there. Probably no point in using that thing anymore. Does it even work? Mm, it does. From Morrow, AWE 7. The Apollo 14 entity, commonly known as, known as Fra, underwent a series of physical examinations upon its admittance into the oldest house. The entity can speak, though its poor grasp of the English language makes any meaningful communication impossible. Interview material can be found at Its physical form consists solely of the extravehicular mobility unit, EMU, spacesuit used by NASA astronauts, the same model worn by the other crew. This could be an authentic EMU taken from one of the NASA astronauts, though this suit does not bear any wearer's name, or one materialized through conversion or possibly corporealization. The suit itself is slightly damaged, which is likely due to the fact that the command module did not have a fourth seat for the entity to strap into during re-entry. <laughs> I love that. The emu is entirely hollow and pieces can be removed, though this seems to agitate the entity. X-rays and spectrograph imaging have shown shaped outlines existing within the suit. For safety reasons, the entity will be contained in a secure cell until more information can be gathered. Oh, that's that thing I couldn't open. That's the cell. Oh, 
so the babbling nonsense wasn't Hartman. That's this entity that babbles nonsense. From Maro's um, summary. A paranatural entity arrived on Earth by infiltrating the Apollo 14 lunar mission at an unknown point of their voyage to the Fra Maro highlands of the moon. 32 hours after the return of the Apollo 14 command module to Earth, the Bureau was contacted by Mr. A White House senior official and instructed to send a small team to the Johnson Space Center in Houston. At the base, the team examined the entity and carried out interviews with NASA staff. They learned that four astronauts had returned to Earth instead of the expected three. Each human crew member was insistent that the mission left with four members, though they couldn't name the fourth when asked. The entity seemingly affected their memory to make its presence feel unremarkable. The entity was transported to the oldest house for further investigation. Note. An altercation between NASA security and the investigation team occurred upon their arrival. Mr. called to clarify the matter, though tensions remained high. Bureau jurisdiction and clearance should be defined more clearly with other federal agencies. That is so creepy. This entity that speaks English but completely nonsensically. And that disguised itself as another crew member and altered everyone else's memory to make it think like it's had always been there. That is so terrifying. Like some weird parasite. so pretty I've always loved the look of that gold I don't know what it is space foil for lack of a better term it looks so cool up in here ah uh, casual turning back in front and <laughs> gerbil took the top head not being pressed for that lady going and loosing back for i sorry i i think i'm misunderstanding you what do you want the head the head for tails for reading news jars words and tumble the reading head okay okay take it easy i'll uh i'll take a look so Maybe it wants something to read. Or a jar. Let's just see what we can find. The reading head. You know what's interesting about the way it talks is it's not talking completely randomly. Right? Like, it's able to kind of um, focus sort of on a certain word and use it in different ways and and focus on it like they mentioned head reading head the head something something head they said head a lot so they're not saying literally random words like there's some sort of logic to it or focus or something although god knows what the reading head Food? It's my birthday. Please take some. What do we have here? Cheese, peppers, and like some sort of sausage? This could 
could be what it wants. Let's give it a shot. Seems a little far fetched. Jars ahead. Starch and peppers head. Okay, that wasn't right. Let's try something else. Scotch and peppers. See, like it mentioned peppers and we gave it some peppers. So there's something logical about what it's saying. There's some sort of logic. And it repeated jar and head. You want an asb. going too far away. Wouldn't be all the way back in the service ducts. Shortcut. Ooh, can I? Hold on, can I get up there? This is a little bit higher than the other place. Oh, I know it's possible. I just need to not grapple like, like need to not grapple. I need to fall onto it so I don't overshoot it. Yes. No. Oh, I'm sure there's other ways, but I want to do it this way. do you think we can go? Oh my god. Holy crap. Is there actually something up here? to get to areas where you're, I guess, not exactly not intended to go, but I don't know, most people don't go, I guess. Not sure if I can get up into the rafters on this side. I don't think I can because there's no lights to jump on top of. Jar head. A B S C -E, was it? Ooh, 
Oh, it's so cute. It has a head. I don't think it's a jar. Noble Sheriff. Mm. A jar. I guess you could sort of call it a jar. I don't know about a head, though. Maybe this will do the trick? Ahead. Guess that wasn't it either. Uh. A basketball. I guess it's either that or a stuffed animal. This might do it. Maybe. You are school and dirt for losing. Fuck off. Up and I won't help you anymore. What a dickhead. Let's see if this will do it. I'm ready to be done with this. Fury clocks, lady. The head. 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 No snacks. Head is top of all up and down. At the top. The top head. Wait, does this thing actually mean head? Head is in a body's head? Where the hell am I gonna find that? And how did it lose it? <laughs> yeah. Not in either of these rooms anymore. What the hell is that? What does that do? Nope, don't like that. Jesus Christ. Why? What? What is that? Like, does it just crush you and you die? I guess that's if you somehow get stuck down here? How would you get stuck down here? I mean, I guess I just did, so it's it's possible. Oh, I just realized something. I just realized that you can see a very faint indent in the suit where Jesse's belly button is. It's kind of hard to see. But it's super cute. I always love that. And there's a little indent for the belly button. It's so cute. are they talking about? I don't know. I want to see if anything magical happens when I fall down that spot over here. That looks like it just loops around to the older area. Oh, Christ. Oh, 
Yeah, I guess nothing magical happened, huh? I just realized it gives us a hint on where the head is. It highlights the sector head office. What do they want from here, though? that a while ago being like "Ooh, look at the reflection the head jar okay it is sort of a head it is sort of a jar a helmet for a head is that what the prisoner meant i guess there's only one way to find out Chicken station. <laughs> oh, far tastier. Press any button. So the helmet is what you're after, huh? Tubes, snug and grape, pure grapes. Hail a lady. You're welcome, I guess. Did Kirkland lock you up in here? Chief Trouble? Yes. Teddy's long around. But hold out and happiest. Can gather for goldfishes. No wrinkle. Okay. Well, sounds like you're doing fine in there now. Just make sure you don't go anywhere. Jelly. At least we help this guy. I think. <laughs> Best we leave it locked up, though. We have no idea what it is, and we don't need any more problems out here. God, the voice acting's so good. The voice actor for Jesse does such an amazing job. Uh, we got a weapon mod that seems unique. Thin space. Projectile speed plus 500%. Exclusive to charge. You don't say. Huh. Do I really want a minus 69% damage? I don't know. Let's see what it looks like. Christ. That is really fast. I mean, it's practically instant. That's really good, I think. I'm gonna stick with it. So I think that's all we need to do over there. Uh, so I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. Hope you've enjoyed so far. And when we return, I'm going to totally mess up finding the main quest. Here we go. <laughs> We're going to head to the Eagle Limited Altered World Event area, which should be to our left instead of to our right like we just did. <laughs>